It is Wednesday and it's time for our pet of the week and Rex Welton is here from the Forsyth Humane Society. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, who you got there? This is Mary Kate. She is almost three months old and she and her sister were picked up as strays and uh, she is a sweetheart. She got a little antsy just a minute ago, but mm -hmm. other, overall she's very calm, very sweet. Um, she's playful, she's affectionate. She's already been spayed and she has all of her vaccinations to date. So all she reads is a home. All right, talk to us about the kind of home that she fit into. Um, I think she would do well with um, really pretty much any kind of home. I think an adult cat would accept her pretty quickly. Uh, a dog would be fine as long as the dog, you know, is used to cats. And um, I think she would love to be with some kids. Mm -hmm. And what about your donation needs right now? Uh, right now we need dog collars, paper towels, and cat food. Okay. All right, we know it's hot outside. It's hot for us humans. What about pets? It's hot for everybody. And I was really thinking about the four things that are really important to take care of our dogs and cats in the hot summer months. One is pavement. If it's too hot for you to walk barefoot on a sidewalk or asphalt, don't expect your dog to be comfortable. Number two, shade. If your dog stays outside during the day, make sure that he or she has access to shade throughout the day because, of course, the sun changes and the shade changes. Um, number three, water. Uh, we, we want to drink lots of cool water. Our, our canine and feline companions do too. So make sure they have not only have water, but make sure the water is not bo boiling hot. And uh, the fourth thing um, is just to make sure if, if they seem like they're stressed out, bring them inside. Let them, mm -hmm. let them take some time in the air conditioning. Sounds like the same thing as humans do. Exactly. Need. If you're not comfortable, your dog's <laughs> probably not comfortable. All right. So what should folks do if they're interested in, um, in, in Mary Kate? Right? Best, best <laughs> thing to do is to stop by our adoption center at 4881 Country Club Road. Folks can also visit our website at ForsythHumane.org. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate you. And of course, we have more information on pet adoption on the WXII 12 Facebook page, um, pets page. Check on the pets page.